What's up everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Hope everybody's doing good out there and staying safe. Today we actually got a coral, a very pretty coral, one that's really good for beginners too. Today we are learning all about the Favia, the Favites coral, and even the Goniastria. All of them are super similar, almost identical, especially whenever you put one and one right beside each other. It's very hard to even tell what the difference is. But the good thing is the care guide is all exactly the same for all of them. Mainly, the only thing you'll see differently is the Favia grows walls on each head separately. And then the Favites grows its walls together with each head. But even whenever you put them beside each other, they look exactly the same. So other than just them growing differently, they are the exact same. Prices on them. You'll find frags sometimes as low as $15 on the rack, but then whenever you try to look for some more crazier colors, they can definitely get upwards of $100 or more. And if you get larger colonies, that'll cost you more too. But you can definitely, if you want to start out with a small one, you can find a good price on them. Care level, they are super easy. A great beginner coral to get. Temperature, you want to keep your tank 72 to 78. Definitely recommend higher for the corals in your tank. They'll do a lot better in that 78. DKH, you want to keep it 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.023 to 1.025. Colors, what's great about these guys is they come in almost every color you could think of. Now the reds, the oranges, yellows, those are going to definitely be a lot more expensive whenever you try to look for them, but then compared to like the greens, purples, and blues, they tend to be a little bit cheaper on you. So you want more vibrant, crazy colors, it's definitely going to cost you. Diet, so while they are photosynthetic and they'll be eating things like phyto phytoplankton and zooanthids in the water, it also is really good to be feeding them directly. So pellets are a really good way to feed them. Each little circle you see on that coral is a mouth that can eat. And so feeding them pellets, they'll actually open up. You'll have little tentacles come out and they'll eat those pellets. But then you can also feed liquid food. So things like Oyster Feast is probably one of my favorite ones to feed. They love that. You can see all their tentacles come out all happy while they're eating. But then there's also ones like Fuel and Reef Roys that work really good too. Origin, most of the time nowadays they're going to be captive bred. You're going to be getting them from people who have been growing them in-house and then just fragging them off for you. But originally they did come from Australia in the Indonesia area off of the Great Barrier Reef. Venomous, they do have long stingers that will come out that look like little bitty tiny strings and they actually are used to catch food. Now they're not harmful to us, but if they were to sway and hit another coral, they will definitely sting it. They will sting the fire out of them. They so definitely want to make sure who's around this Favia, especially at night whenever they come out all the time. Placement, I would recommend medium to low areas where the current isn't crazy they don't need a ton of light but they do need some but they tend to do a lot better whenever they're at the lower parts of the tank current needs to be low this will stress them out if it's too high it will cause them to shrink up and it won't allow them to eat very well so put them in a low spot in the tank and around low current and they'll be really happy tank size doesn't matter as long as you got your levels are up your calcium and your dkh looks good and you got plenty of nutrients in there for them to feed off of. Lighting, definitely probably medium to high. The ones you're seeing in the video are up under two Hydra 32s. Now, if you're not sure if your lighting is good enough for them, please just leave a comment down below and we can talk about it and I'll figure out if that lighting is good enough to grow these corals, but they don't need anything crazy. Fragging is very tough for these Favia corals because they have a very, very thick skeleton that is not easy to get through. So unless you have one of those really nice reef cutting saws to run them through, it's really not a good idea to try to frag these. With those saws, they're able to cut precisely right around the mouths of each of them, that way that they can keep growing successfully. Now this is a very slow growing coral. You're not gonna see crazy growth. They tend to have the little mouths like you see on each circle and then they'll eventually start to grow two mouths and then basically do a split. And they'll eventually keep doing that over and over again till it starts to overcome the rock. They'll eventually grab onto the rock, but this is a very slow process. Like I said, it takes a while. 
So a lot of times people will just put them on the same bed, that way they can just spread out there. With the slow process of them growing, that's why I always try to recommend people to feed their corals. That way it kind of accelerates them getting more nutrition, it helps them grow a lot faster for you. But other than that, that pretty much hits on everything to take care of these Favia, the Favites, and the Gonaastria coral. They're all very similar in taking care of them. Main thing you want to make sure is just put them in a spot that's a little bit lower current. Put them somewhere that they're not going to bring out those stingers and sting your corals around them. Put them somewhere where they have room to kind of flow those around whenever they're feeding. And then also just make sure to feed them weekly that way that you have a faster growth process and you're not just having this little frag in your tank forever. But other than that, if y'all have any other questions, please leave them down below. I love talking to y'all. Follow me on social media and we'll chat it out there. But other than that, y'all please stay safe out there and I will talk to y'all later. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.